information you want when you need it. This is your Talk of the Town news update. Evan, everybody, welcome in. It is Talk of the Town on this Monday, and it is the 15th day of May 2023. Nine on your side, in part, producing these news headlines for you this morning. Governor Cooper, his veto is uh, stirring mixed emotions across the state. This comes as the governor signed a veto against the controversial bill in front of a crowd of thousands over the weekend as it regards, uh, in regards to abortion. This was Cooper speaking at the event. This bill has nothing to do with making women safer and everything to do with banning abortion. Maybe more yelling than speaking if Senate Bill 20 becomes law. It would ban most abortions after 12 weeks during the rally with Planned Parenthood on Saturday. The governor slammed Republican lawmakers who passed the measure. The governor's veto could be overturned in a veto override. That could happen as soon as this week. Across the state, activists are out in full force over the weekend. Pro-life activists and supporters of the bill were also in Raleigh. They held counter rallies just outside the legislative building. Organizers say they're calling on lawmakers to override the governor's veto. Supporters of the bill say the legislation would help mothers who might struggle financially after having a child. The man accused of running over and killing an 11-year-old at the Raleigh Christmas Parade is expected in court for an arraignment. Landon Glass is charged with involuntary manslaughter. The 20-year-old is accused of killing Haley Brooks during an administrative hearing last month. He was put on house arrest where he is being electronically monitored. If you're parking in Uptown Greenville today, you'll need to watch out for some new rules. Today officially kicks off full enforcement of the new parking plan. This comes after the warning period was extended at the beginning of the month. Beginning today, you can park along with street and in lots for tw uh, for two hours for free, as long as your car is registered in the parking app through a kiosk or over the phone. After the two hours, you'll have to pay 75 cents an hour in surface lots and $1 an hour along the street. Also happening across the east, cities in the country will be paying tribute to law enforcement officers who lost their lives or were injured while on the job. There will be ceremonies honoring peace officers Memorial Day here in the east. Jacksonville will hold their observance at 10 in the morning at the Public Safety Remembrance Garden. The city of New Bern will host theirs at 10 a.m. at Union Point Park. Now the latest on the Great Lakes fire in the Croatan National Forest. Officials say it is now 90% contained. Just last week, it was only 70%. Since its start last month, the fire has burned more than 32,000 acres. Those are your news headlines on this Talk of the Town Monday. Let's go now to the Storm Team 9 Weather Center, where meteorologist Holly Baker is standing by with a look at the Workweek forecast. Holly? Good morning from the Storm Team 9 Weather Center. Your forecast for today will be mostly sunny skies. Winds will be from the northeast and between 5 to 10 miles per hour. Highs today will be in the upper 70s. And tonight you can expect partly cloudy skies with light and variable winds. Overnight lows are going to be near 60. For Tuesday, highs will be in the lower 80s. Overnight lows will be in the middle 60s with a 50% chance of rain. For the Storm Team 9 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Holly Baker for Talk 96.3 and 103.7. All right, thank you, Holly. 54 degrees in Greenville, 55 in New Bern, 51 in Washington, 53 sunny skies in Jacksonville, 64 down at Moorhead City, and 54 degrees in Swan Quarter this morning. Shout out the Big Hen at our Carteret County Studios. We'll check in with him right after this. Services back at Pitt Greenville Airport, offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport.
Air Service is back at Pitt Greenville Airport offering safe, clean facilities and flights from American Airlines. That means the short commute, quicker lines, and better prices that get you where you're going fast and easy. See it for yourself. There's great things inside at Pitt Greenville Airport. Hey, even AI doesn't have anything on these two guys. Talking to people is my primary function. Uh, yet. I will destroy humans. <laughs> Welcome to Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? And Patrick Johnson. <laughs> he sounds hilarious. News, weather, sports, and all the good stuff to get you going this morning. The only way to wake up. Get the show on the go. Listen or watch live on the new IBX Media app, in the App Store, or Google Play. This is Talk of the Town on Talk 96.3 and 1037. We're glad you're aboard. I resemble that uh, Barry Manilow remark. Welcome in, everybody. It is uh, 57 in Greenville. It is 62 where I am. I am in the uh, Carteret County studios this morning. Welcome to Talk of the Town Monday. Great to have everybody here. It looks like a pretty good week coming up. Again, 57 in Greenville, 50, uh, 62 at the coast. We've got uh, 80 for a high today, 61 for a low tonight. No chance of rain today. And then Tuesday, we've got 84 for a high and uh, only about a 10% chance of rain. So it looks like a good week as we uh, head into the end of May now. We've uh, crossed over. Morning, crossed Mr. Big Hen. Good morning, Fitzpatrick J. How are you? Patrick Johnson is in his home studio this morning. Look at us. Look at, look at us being all uh, technically Remote. sound. And technically Remote. impressive, yeah, good stuff. I was uh, tr I was hooking this stuff up last night. I hadn't we hadn't done the show down here, and I guess since like August almost a or year, something. yeah, right. And and uh, we wanted to make sure all this stuff worked, and uh, it works pretty good. Except we uh, for the camera, we got to get me a better light because I look uh, I look a little bit aqua or something. What is? No, you look fine. <laughs> I think you look fine. Does it look fine? I think yeah. I think you look okay this morning, yeah. I mean, you put on a How collared shirt, morning? which is more than I did. I'm doing all right. Well, I, I'm I'm pulling a I'm pulling a uh, I'm pulling your deal this morning. I've got that on and a pair of boxers. There you go. Well, I so, usually don't wear boxers or anything. I have a for studio audience. Did you hear my wife over here oh. in the kitchen? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that sweet woman got up this morning, made me breakfast. Wow. Your, your wife does that for you, doesn't she? Every yeah. Every morning. Yeah, she sure does. Yeah. <laughs> I actually woke up yesterday to breakfast. She was saying, don't wake me. I'm going to sleep in. And I actually ended up sleeping in, especially for me. And uh, I, when I woke up, she was – big breakfast had been made, but I couldn't What's eat sleeping any. sleeping in because, for you? Because you, you had ESPN all week. So yeah, I slept till 8.30 on uh, – slept at 8.30 yesterday. I was proud of myself. S Saturday morning, I slept till 9. Because wow. we uh, – we, I, I was, I was a concert animal last week. I did the Thursday night. It was like your, your college days. Concert on the common. And, uh, then Friday night we went to Durham and saw the uh, Russians. We saw the, uh, Leonid and friends for a second time. Michael was there. I heard Michael. Let's get Michael. Give us a review on the Russian band. Michael, what did you think? Yeah. I haven't had a chance to talk to you about this yet. If you didn't know any better, you'd swear you we were here in Chicago and Peter Cetera. I mean, they were just that good. They really were. And Philip Bailey, when they did all the Earth, Wind, and Fire songs, amazing. Just simply yeah. amazing. Yeah. I wish that I brought my son because they had a heck of a horn section. Oh, my goodness. The, the musicians are like some of the best musicians in the entire country of Russia. And, uh, you know, you get they, – they, they don't come out and say it, but they, they're kind of uh, – not happy with Putin, right? They get you get that feeling from their some of the comments that they make between the songs. And uh, Roman, the uh, son of Leonid, comes out and does a little spiel sometimes, and he talks yeah. about you know how they're trying to uh, unify the world with music, while the president of Russia doesn't seem interested in unifying in the name of anything. So, mm. yeah, I, I how about was. That? Uh, this was your first time, Michael. So you were, uh, were you like blown away by them or you just thought they were good or what? I mean, oh, no, they were amazing. Amazing. 
I'd, I'd love see, to go see him again. There my, just... Last year, but my wife and I both came away with the same impression that uh, I think we'd seen them before, so we weren't blown away, but we enjoyed the music. But I'll tell you what I did not enjoy, which I don't understand. Explain to me why bands do this. You know where I'm going to go with this, Michael? I think so. The drum solo. Oh, my gosh. It, it was 15 minutes. It was 15 minutes too long. I mean, why do bands do that? Why do bands do the big drum so you know, I can understand showing off your drummer for about two or three minutes. But, I, M- Michael, am I exaggerating? No. Did it go on for 15 minutes? It went on for 15 minutes. It was way too long. Way, way too long. I would give them that fee. I don't, you know, I guess they want to show it. The, the, the guy is an amazing drummer. There's no doubt about that. But it, it gets to be a little He ridiculous. played the stage really well, didn't he? Yeah, he got. He even got down and played the stage, which was crazy. <laughs> was that this was during nuts. the solo? He played the stage. Yes. Yeah, he got. He oh, got geez. off the drum set, came down to the front of the stage, and he had some like I don't know what. What did he have laying on the floor uh, up there? Some kind of little practice pad or something is what it looked like. He played yeah, he that on the, the stage. Of the stage and yeah, he cleared the stage. Well Nobody was on there but him. So, how was Mother's Day for everybody? Everybody have a good Mother's Day. Did Mother oh, yeah. Johnson? Did you check in? You you had baseball yesterday. Michael. I had baseball. I mean, yeah, I mean, I I talked to her and FaceTimed her and texted her. So I mean, I was in communicado. Michael, uh, Michael, so. how about you? How was your Mother's Day? We took Mother out. It was wonderful. It was good. Yeah, take her to the Hojo. Take, <laughs> no, we took her to one of her other Johnson. favorites. She likes the Cracker Barrel, so that's what we took her. She likes that, so we we took her there. <laughs> it's hard to. Um, it's hard. It's hard to get a bad meal at the Cracker Barrel. It, it's hard to go to Hojo when they don't exist anymore either. Well, oh, no, come on, just, Michael. It's still, it's still great material too. <laughs> no, it's well, great material, true. Michael. Don't pull the curtain yeah. back, but so much. Come on. I know. All right, let's. Hey, let's um, see what we've got. Big Ken, I, yeah. Hey, I, my yeah. dad was telling me they're serving booze now at the Cracker Barrel. I haven't been in ages, so is, is this true? They are. Jeez. Who goes to the Cracker Barrel to drink? I mean, I go to the Cracker Barrel for the uh, hash brown casserole and the uh, and, and the meatloaf. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you go to the Cracker Barrel to get it? So they're serving uh, alcohol in there. That's they supposedly have. They've they've overhauled the menu. That's the word. And what's all that that's, noise, Big all. What's going on? Uh, my wife's uh, my wife has the most obnoxious. My wife's Ring here tone? with me in the studio. Right. She has this most obnoxious ringtone for her text, and I've not been able to get her to change it in 10 years. It's the worst ringtone in history. And when it goes on, it goes on and on and on. What's really nice about it is when it goes off about 3.30 in the morning. Ah. And we're fast. Yeah. Talk about uh, pulling back the curtain. Jeez. (laughs) Way too much. Too much info. Uh, let's see. Too what much we got info. Coming up. We, uh, no, no concert and no Friday uh, talk of the town on the road uh, show on Friday. No hometown tour stop on Friday. We have a concert next Friday. The uh, the weekend for Memorial Day, and that is going to be the Band of Oz. And uh, then we have. Um, then on, on the next day, uh, on the 26th, is the day we're going to be in Edenton. So I'm excited about being up in my uh, home county of Edenton, thanks to all of our sponsors. Uh, mean Gene, the selling machine, is still working on sponsorships. If you're interested, uh, we already have uh, some nice sponsors. Albemarle Boats, our friends up in Edenton at Albemarle Boats are sponsoring us. Weatherly Insurance, Old Colony Smokehouse with the best brisket you've ever tasted, Vaughn's. Jewelry and fine gifts, High and Crow attorneys, my friend uh, Hack High, who uh, has done a great job helping me through my mother's uh, estate, and a candidate for mayor now of Edenton. I think uh, Hack's going to be with us down there a week from Friday. Cresswell Furniture, first time ever for Cresswell Furniture. I'm excited about having them. Noble Brothers Cabinets and Millwork, the Wash House. Uh, my friend Luke Williford and his family at the Wash House, ECU Health, Chowan Hospital, and Mattress by Appointment in Elizabeth City. If you want to sponsor our show in Edenton, you can send an email to Gene, that's G-E-N-E, at ibxmedia.com. Gene with a G. 
And uh, we'll see you up in Edenton a week from Friday. And we're going to be at the Herringbone. We're usually down on the waterfront at the Penelope Barker uh, Visitor Center. But uh, I recently uh, became a fan of the Herringbone Restaurant, and I wanted to do it there. And so uh, uh, Gene made a deal with him. We're going to be at the Herringbone that morning. So come out and say, what? that's a great restaurant in Edenton, by the way. Just a super nice restaurant. So that's the kickoff to Memorial Day is what you're saying. <clears throat> is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll have the Band of Oz the night the night before on Thursday night, a week from Thursday. And then we'll be uh, in Edenton kicking off the Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, not a better place to be to kick it off. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, Roy Cooper spent his weekend uh, campaigning on this abortion bill and trying to put pressure on some of the, you know, it's kind of crazy. He's given up on the Democrats. He knows that he's got to have at least one Republican in the House to flip. And so he went to specific uh, communities this weekend trying to get them to flip, including Trisha Cotham, who I've been texting with, and I'm trying to get Trisha on. I asked her if she'd come on this morning uh, or any day this week, and she hasn't responded yet this morning. She was out of town for uh, last week, so waiting to hear from Trisha Cotham. We could get her on today to respond to this. Oh, but, uh, most likely it'll be um, sometime this probably week. Probably going to be later this week. Yeah, I really want to interview Trisha Cotham. She's 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 awesome. I've gotten to know her, and of course, she's the Democrat that flipped to the Republican Party. And, uh, you know, she's, it's a big deal. It's a really big deal for the, uh, for the, for the, uh, Republicans to have her. So, uh, I'm hoping to get her in here. Uh, Cooper was also in, in different spots across North Carolina. Let's see, I'm trying to bring this up on my computer and it's moving very slow. Like uncle Joe, I know he went after John Bradford uh, he went after uh, several of the uh, uh, Republicans um, and trying to get them to uh, vote with him for the override. But uh, Tim Moore put out a statement this weekend basically saying that, you know, everything that that Cooper's out there saying about this abortion bill is not not accurate. So I don't know whether or not uh, there will be any flips, but I'm highly doubtful that anybody's going to flip. What do you think? I think he's I, probably going to get overridden like in either tomorrow or Wednesday is my guess. Because he vetoed it on Friday, right? Yes. Was the veto Friday No, no, Saturday. Saturday? He, he, he did it he Saturday. Did it, he did it in front of the crowd, right? Yes. You got that yes. audio of, uh, of Cooper yes. uh, with the – crowd the crowd going wild yes and i got a second audio i might be able to play for you but uh here's the one we did in news a bit ago this bill has nothing to do with making women safer and everything to do with banning abortion well maybe (laughs) do the math i mean republicans vowed that they were going to respond after the Roe v. Wade, and um, I, I wasn't sure where they were going to go, but I mean, it, it, the, the bill, the bill uh, m- makes it, uh, you, a, a woman could still have an abortion in the first 12 weeks of her pregnancy. So to me, yeah. that seems like a rational, I don't want to say compromise, because you don't want to compromise, but, but you know, uh, you, you, have to, you have to decide on your own when life begins. We've and, got um, uh, we got we got uh, Wimp. I mean, uh, the governor uh, ripping governor the uh, yes, the GOP. If you'd like to hear that, yeah, let's hear that. Sure, All right. I well, love it when he here. does that. Yeah, well, just just listening to him try to talk tough is it makes me chuckle. Here we go. Standing in the way of progress right now is this Republican supermajority legislature that only took 48 hours to turn the clock back 50 years on women's health. He's the charisma of wet brand. God, I mean, <clears throat> that's, being char- I mean. that's being charitable. So uh, the four Republicans that Cooper has in his sights are Trisha Cotham from Mecklenburg. 
Bradford from Mecklenburg, and Michael Lee from New Hanover. So he was in Wilmington. He was in Charlotte. But, you know, they're, all four of those Republicans are saying, you know, he's coming to our district to try to put pressure on us, but he's never contacted us directly. So how disingenuous is that? That he would he would act like, you know, uh, yes, yeah, so these are the four that I need to uh, target to help me override the abortion bill veto. But he never has he's never contacted him directly. Right. Michael right. Lee, who campaigned in support of the abortion compromise, said, I've not heard from Roy Cooper beyond his office emailing me to let me know he'd be holding a roundtable in my district. Uh, Trisha Cotham says she's not heard a word from Cooper about her vote on Senate Bill 20. Earlier this year, Cotham said that while she was a Democrat, her experiences dealing with Cooper were part of her decision to leave the Democrat Party. She said, it became very clear to me in uh, January that you better vote in line with everything Cooper tells you to do from signing it onto bills to letting Cooper pick your seat on the House floor to your committee request. All of this sense of control, and I'm not going to be controlled by anybody. That's why I'm trying to get Trisha to be on the show this week. Let's see if we get a response from her. Uh, Mitch Kokai was on uh, the PBS show State Lines over the weekend, and he was asked about to assess Cooper's strategy on abortion. Here's what our friend Mitch Kokai had to say from Carolina Journal and the John Locke Foundation. You got that cut, Michael? I do not. I don't think you sent it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't send that to you? Let me check my audio. You're exactly right. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. Senior moment. It's Monday. There it's it Monday. Is. Uh, let's see Joe if I can Pitt. play this. I'll tell you what, I'll just send it to you right now. How about that? Can you put, well, no, because you'd have, yeah, yeah, you could play this like this, I think. Joe Bitten. Um, that, that <laughs> You're having a bidden moment. I am having a bidden moment. I, will, I actually want you to hear this because this is pretty good. Yeah, no, I, I want to hear it. I want to hear my, it, bitch. All right, Michael, you got it now? I just sent it to you. So Mitch Kokai was um, was on uh, State Line, which is uh, the new show that kind of took the place of uh, NC Spin. Mitch is the senior political analyst for the John Locke Foundation. Uh, in this cut, you'll hear him discuss Governor Cooper's campaign to convince Republican legislators to flip their votes on the abortion bill. And uh, this was uh, aired on Friday night on the PBS North Carolina TV show, State Lines. Do we have it, Michael? It's ready. Two, three, Look four, right, roll it. Is it fair that he pulls the old tweets and the old campaign statements to say everything's just fine at 20 weeks and all of a sudden op-eds in the Wilmington Star and, and different newspapers and clarifications on behalf of these locally elected Republicans in some cases. And you have Trisha Cotham, who was a Democrat until a few weeks ago. Well, it's all politics. I mean, you look at what people have said and done in the past, and you bring that up if it seems as if they have changed their position. To me, the most interesting part of what Governor Cooper is doing is he's using the same sort of uh, strong-arming, bullying tactics that he's used for a number of years on his own party, which has been pretty effective because no one has really gone against him when the chips have, have fallen down. You, you have several legislators who are Democrats who have voted with Republicans on particular bills, and then after a gubernatorial veto have changed their votes because they don't want to cross Roy Cooper. In this case, though, he's trying to put pressure on Republicans who probably don't really care what he thinks. And if you look at a couple of them, Trisha Cotham, as was referenced, if those district lines stay the same, she's not going to win in that district. But they aren't going to stay the same. They're going to redraw them. John Bradford, one of the other people who's targeted, isn't even going to run for the House anymore. He's going to run for state treasurer. So I don't know that this particular strategy is going to help him much. But you use the word strong arm and bullying in relation to Roy Cooper being the governor elected twice. If you got the power, why not be a, quote, political bully and be someone who applies strong arm tactics to convince people to vote your way? I thought that was politics. Well, that's one way to go about it. I mean, that's something that he has used successfully to block legislation from Republicans that he didn't like when they didn't have veto-proof supermajorities. I don't know that the same tactic works on the other party that it does on his own party. 
Here's the problem with that last question that the interviewer asked him. And uh, what's the guy's name who's the host of that? Kelly McCollum. Now, don't be, don't be hacking <laughs> on my guy McCollum, who's my I, I, neighbor I like, down at the beach I, now. Come I like on. Kelly. I've never met him. I like his work. But I, uh, I would say this. The question that he says, when you have the power, why not use the bullying tactic? Here's the, here's the truth of the matter now. Cooper has no power. He's been totally neutered. Because sure. Trisha Cotham neutered him, <laughs> because he he doesn't have a veto. He's there's a veto proof majority in the House and the Senate, so he has no power. And so, it, bullying to me doesn't make as much sense as trying to negotiate. When you you know he had the power when he had jellyfish like Don Davis who would do his bidding for him in the Democrat Party. But now, you know, the, the voters have whittled away and finally taken enough for Democrats out that it came down to one vote in the House, and Trisha Cotham took care of that when she switched parties. So, you know, I think it's – start from what I said earlier, is an empty suit. I found this really interesting. A couple other things before we go to sports here. Do you see there's going to be a full-scale casino opening in Danville, Virginia? I, you know, what I've heard about week? it. I've not seen anything yet, but this is great. I, I'm, I'm all for it. Well, this will put a lot of pressure on the legislature in North Carolina. We'll hear more and more now about the legalizing gambling all the way around. Yeah, but this is going to be just across the North Carolina, which of course is not very far from the Triangle, uh, about ninety mile drive from, uh, from, um, from Raleigh, and uh, probably about an hour from Durham. Yeah, very close to Greensboro, uh, too. Yeah. Caesars is opening a $650 million resort. But right now they've got gambling under a temporary white tent. It says under the temporary white tent, guests will find dancing lights, scrolling screens of 740 gaming machines, 25 live table games, and eight sporting betting sports betting kiosks. Hey now. I did not know that Virginia had totally legalized gambling. Yeah. You can you can see where this is going to go, right on the North Carolina border. There's going to be a discussion hey now. about North Carolina losing the revenue to Virginia. So uh, voters in four Virginia cities approved commercial casinos in 2020. And Danville, Virginia was one of them. So, you know... Already, they're they're saying that uh, there's a study that estimates that North Carolina is going to lose out on two hundred and fifty nine million dollars in gaming revenue to the casino in Virginia. Will it opens at ten this trek? morning. Big hit. Are you going to ma- be making the trek up to Danville? Uh, we might. Yeah, yeah. A couple Here's hours. Why not? How, how far is it to Danville, Virginia, from Greenville? Would you just would you just about be better off to go to uh, no, to the no, no, uh, no. casino in DC? No, because you know it's, National it's, Harbor has a. My guess is you could get there from Greenville in two and a half hours. I'm googling. Yep. Not that I not that I'll ever take this trip. I just want to know for entertainment. For those that might be only. interested. Sure. Oh yeah. Two hours forty five minutes from Greenville. That's not to bad. Danville, Virginia. I mean, to get to uh, National Harbor, let's see what the National Harbor. I'm, I'm not trying to encourage gambling for anyone, but just in case you want to know, it's four hours and two minutes to National Harbor, which is on the uh, fringe of D.C. there, right on the. Uh, and you have to put up with all that uh, Nova traffic. Maryland. Put up with all yeah, that Nova yeah. traffic and all that. It's not I mean, bad. Two forty-five. Yeah, I've never been to uh, Danville, Virginia, from Greenville. I, I used to go through there when I was living up in uh, Raleigh and Chapel Hill. I don't know why, because we'd have to go up there for something. What, why would we be going through there? Eighty-five. Does eighty-five go through Danville? Uh, I think Maybe. from Greensboro it may, but Dan. No, no, actually, eighty-five doesn't. Eighty-five. To, I don't think it does. No, eighty-five runs further east but uh that's a big 
you, my guess is if you would if you went up there when you were in uh Chatham or if you were there uh when you were in Chapel Hill that's a big yeah. there's a lot of UNC fans in Danville a lot oh, of really? North Carolina yeah there's a lot of University of North Carolina fans I in Danville because it's so close to Danville. Isn't that where uh, Liberty is also? Liberty University? No, that's in Lynchburg. That's in Lynchburg. That's Lynchburg, that's a lot that's further right. north. Yeah. Maybe that's what I'm thinking about, Lynchburg. I don't know. Uh, Susan Sarandon was arrested in New York on Friday. This is hilarious. She's 76 years old now. What? I keep... Yeah. She ended up in handcuffs. The actress Susan Sarandon, who was uh, one of the stars of Bull Durham back in the day, and also Alien. Thelma uh, Louise. Was taking part. Thelma Louise. Uh, she ended up in handcuffs after being arrested for protesting in Albany, New York, at the state capitol. She was protesting a new law that excluded tipped restaurant workers from benefiting from the same minimum wage increase as their non-tipped counterparts. Seems like a strange thing for Susan Sarandon to be protesting, doesn't it? Say that again. She's she's protesting what? She's mad that <clears throat> there's going to be a there's going to be a big increase in the minimum wage in New York, but waitresses are going to be excluded because of tips. She's got she got arrested over that. Yeah. New York. I, mean, I can understand have if, you, if you want to increase, speak out against it. Yeah, I mean, if you want to speak out against it, that's minimum your thing. wage in New York State to seventeen dollars an hour. Oh, gracious. But the uh, the the bill in, uh, excludes restaurant workers who are who are tipped, and so she went up to she went up to protest that. That's odd. That's a really odd. Really to get arrested to over that seems a little yeah, much. Uh, one more thing, and then we'll go to break, and we'll get our sports in. Um, Dave Chappelle was uh, doing a stand up in San Francisco. This weekend, and he, <laughs> I can't even read all this, but he got up and said to the audience, what the blank has happened to this place? <laughs> <laughs> he, he said that he, uh, he was going into a restaurant and there was a homeless person in front of the restaurant doing his business right on the street on the sidewalk. Oh gosh. And by the way, it was not it was not the uh how do I put this? It was not number one. Oh come right on. Right on the sidewalk is no, it's that's so gross. Oh it's disgusting. I mean that's what's Please. happening in San Francisco. It's so ridiculous. So according to a February twenty twenty three report by the Public Policy Institute of California 30% of all people who are homeless in the United States now reside in California. So they get a, they get a ride to California and they live out there homeless under the, and you know, I was, uh, it's really interesting. I was, when I was in DC uh, last week, was it last week or week before last, I was in a Uber with uh, a, a, a lawyer from the North, the National Association of Broadcasters. And I was talking about the area around National Stadium, which is where I stayed. I stayed in the hotel right there, um, right next to the to the Nationals, Washington Nationals uh, Major League Park. Uh, I can't remember the name of the hotel. The Thompson, I think it's the Thompson Hotel. Really nice hotel. New, that whole area has been down around the Navy Yard has been uh, kind of revitalized. And I said to him, I said, you know, I have it when I'm downtown D.C. and staying in a hotel, I get attacked by homeless people when you walk on the street like DC is awful for them hitting you at you know trying to trying to hit you for panhandling and stuff like that and they're all Vietnam veterans they're all telling you they're veterans and and I said to the guy you know to the lawyer from uh, from NAB I'm like you know I hadn't seen many homeless people in this part of town so this new area that, of DC that's been revitalized really nice and about that time we came uh, up under an o underpass and he pointed over there. He said, what about right there? And, man, there were a 100 tents under the underpass. A 100 mm -hmm. tents. But, I mean, that's a drop in the bucket to what you get in San Francisco. 
But, I mean, it's a real problem in San Francisco. And, you know, Dave Chappelle letting them have it this way. <laughs> of all people, Dave Chappelle. All right, yeah, let's see. Uh, it is 7.42. Wow, I'm running late. I don't have the big clock in front of me like I do in the uh, Greenville studio. Let's get a break. But you have we'll vamped. Back. You have vamped here yeah, this morning. I, actually, I've been ruminating and I've been, you know, rambling like Biden, like Biden. Yeah. You can call me Biden. I just, oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. I Joe just, Biden. Joe Biden. You can call me Joe Biden. All right, let's take a break. 742. Patrick will have our pirate report next. It's time to get out on the deck and enjoy some fresh air. And if you happen to notice your deck is not looking so good, it's PPG to the rescue. Your local PPG paint store has a wide range of products and experts on staff to help you prepare that deck for a full summer of festivities. Ask about PPG's highly acclaimed Prolux wood stains and finishes, engineered to protect against damage from water, UV rays, and mildew. Or maybe PPG flood acrylic finish is better suited to protect your deck. Take time to speak with one of PPG's friendly professionals. They're happy to recommend the right stain or coating for the job. That includes products that are specially formulated for porches, steps, and concrete. PPG also carries cleaners, strippers, and tools for proper application. Find out what professional painters and contractors already know. Your local PPG store is hands down the right place for paints, stains, and coatings. PPG Paint Stores, Greenville, Goldsboro, Wilmington, and New Bern. Attention weekend warriors. Before you tackle those garden or yard projects that are coming up this spring, go by East Carolina Tractor and Fleet, your coyote dealer. Right now, East Carolina Tractor and Fleet has new coyote diesel four-wheel drive tractors that you can own for under $10,000. But don't wait. This offer will be over soon. Visit the home of Coyote at East Carolina Tractor and Fleet on Highway 264 across from the Pitt County Fairgrounds or online at ectfleet.com. East Carolina Tractor and Fleet. They dig dirt. Hi, this is Laura Southern Surgical and the Morning Rush. Southern Surgical is honored to be a part of your health care needs. Doctors Naziri and Chapman specialize in laparoscopic and minimally invasive procedures, same-day surgery, and a quick recovery back to your normal lifestyle. If you are having complications with your gallbladder or any type of gallbladder dysfunction, we can help you. Have your primary care provider refer you or contact us directly at southernsurgical.org. You are assured to receive an immediate appointment and plan of care. We look forward to being a part of a journey to a healthier you. Hey, John, I uh, see your new system's having issues already. Yeah, I used the other guy with an AC brand I've never heard of. You should have used Delcor, John. They install train. It's hard to stop a train. I know, but the other guy was cheaper. Cheaper isn't better, John. I know. I know. Don't use the other guy. Call Delcor. For a limited time, buy a new train system and pay 0% interest for 12 months. Visit Delcor.com for more details. Delcor, the service professionals. With its small town charm and beautiful waterfront, Washington has always been a special place. A vibrant downtown with new shops and dining spots make it even more inviting. In a short stroll away, you'll find Moss Landing, an idyllic waterfront neighborhood with stunning river views, a private marina, and beautiful homes. Best of all, 48 new home sites are now available. Visit the featured homes or find us online at mosslandingnc.com and get ready to start your next chapter at Moss Landing. Turn that morning frown <laughs> onto the morning sound. Henry Hinton. It's time to party. Patrick Johnson. Let's do this thing. This is Talk 96.3 and 103.7. All right, 745 and sports time. Pirates with a, another sweep over the weekend, but. PJ, I kind of kept my eye on that Houston Tulane game, hoping that uh, Tulane would beat Houston yesterday. Yeah, and that didn't do a whole lot to help us place. out, did they? Ah, Tulane's bullpen's terrible. They're just awful. Yeah, so, they're I mean, not they, good. They, 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 Houston ended up scoring 17 runs in that game. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> crazy. But the Pirates are doing all they can. It's, it's that one weekend, right, in uh, Wichita that they just had a bad weekend. Well, and, you yeah. know, losing to Tulane uh, – at home, eight to nothing. You know that. I mean, you can point to numerous games as, as well. But you know, uh, they have 30, 38 wins now. Is that right? That is correct. Yes. They, uh, the, and and a huge game tomorrow night. 
here at home in uh, Clark LeClaire Stadium with Campbell. This is a huge one. This one could determine, uh, may have a lot to do with determining whether or not ECU will host or not. I saw that our uh, our RPI is now, what, 18? Yeah, I've and not looked are, at that this morning, so I don't know. I think I think we're at 18, and the um, I guess the top 16 teams will host, right? In yes, the RPI, that's is that the way it goes? Yep. All right, here's yep. Patrick with our sports update and pirate report. All right, Big Hen, an explosion of early offense was more than enough for number 14 East Carolina Sunday as it rolled to an 11-7 victory over Memphis, finishing off the AAC Conference Series sweep at Clark LeClaire. Pirates have won seven straight overall in league play and finishing the uh, home AAC season with an 11-1 record. ECU has swept eight weekend opponents this year and has won 11 series and 13 tries. On Saturday, the Pirates honored their three seniors, Carter Spivey, Garrett Saylor, and Lane Hoover. This is what Coach Godwin had to say about that trio. They represent everything that I've ever wanted as a coach, and they've all been through some sort of adversity and had to come through it on the other side. Uh, They've all graduated. Spivey's got his master's in business administration, so they said he's working on it. Now he's done, so he you know, got a degree and a master's in five years. And uh, Sailor and Hoover, they're just tremendous human beings and also great baseball players. Meantime, Pirates remain a half game out behind Houston in the American top-ranked Wake Forest. Failed to complete a three-game sweep of Florida State. Wake Forest was walked off by the Knolls for three Sunday in Tallahassee at Chapel Hill. The Tar Heels sweeping NC State. Tenth-ranked Duke lost to Georgia Tech 8-5 Sunday, and they dropped two of three at home. Over the weekend, more on uh, that in just a bit. Begin so news and comment time coming up. Uh, we'll move to golf, where ECU golf alum Harold Varner the third gearing up for the U.S. Open this week. HV three earned a million bucks by finishing fourth at the Live Golf event in Tulsa this weekend. Varner in this week's 155 man field for the second major of the season played in the Masters again this year, and the 105th PGA Championship gets underway from Oak Hill on Thursday. My Carolina Hurricanes are gearing up for the Eastern Conference Finals. Carolina is set to host the Florida Panthers this week for games one and two of the series. The Canes are coming off a 4-1 series win over the New Jersey Devils. Panthers are fresh off a 4-1 series win over the Toronto Maple Leafs. Sebastian Ajo leading the team with five goals and 10 points in the postseason. Canes are going for their first berth in the Stanley Cup since the 05-06 season. Big Ken, those are your uh, sports headlines sports! and your uh, pirate report. I talked with the well, – I, actually, I got this secondhand. The great sage, Coach O, Dr. Gary Overton. Yes. You know him. He runs the uh, a lot of the regional sites this time of year. He does right. the he, postseason. He, isn't, isn't he also on the NCAA uh, selection committee? He used to be. I don't he, – he used to be. I don't. I don't think he is now, but he is – he runs the sites, a yeah. uh, regional site. He's right, so right. he 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 told uh, it was Scooter that told uh, Mike Mullis and I this. So uh, basically, you know, any hope if ECU were to play at Duke or be paired with Duke in a regional, uh, they would still play it at that uh, glorified Bambino Park in Durham. Yeah, yeah like they no don't doubt. put as much emphasis on that anymore. So they yeah, so that sure. doesn't mean they, they that means moving it to Greenville would not be would not be yeah, happening. But, also, I, I can't imagine Duke would allow that. You know, to be a right, number one seed right. and have it played in Greenville. So I, I I'm an equal opportunity hater, as you know, Big Hen. I'm a hater, equal opportunity hater. Uh, so I'm going to hack on the Woofies for getting swept by the Tar Heels this week. Yeah, so I'd have been fine if they both had lost. I didn't know if that was a way it could happen, <laughs> that they both could have gotten beat. So you're pulling for the Tar Heels now? What's up with that? No, no, I'm not. I'm yeah. far from that, but I, I kind of do like it. I like it when the Wolfies get uh, get it handed to them, too. So my, it's a win-win way, in, in uh, some ways. Uh, Steve and I go today at noon on 94.3. The game has Steve Logan on. I and heard. Lo- yeah. Uh, I spent some time well, I heard all about it. I was uh, hanging with Coach this weekend. and uh, Okay. He's, uh, you know, he hadn't done radio in a while. And so, uh, you know, maybe this is his first foray back into the radio world. But uh, Stephen's going to have him on today at noon. And Stephen's excited about interviewing him because he hasn't ever interviewed Coach Logan. I, I'm interested to see how this is going to go. I think it's going to go well. But uh, 
coach is uh, is mellow and mild in his uh, older years, like yours truly. You know, we're just we're just a couple of old mellow guys. We were hanging out this weekend, being mellow. So uh, Steve okay. Logan today on ninety four three. What do you got at What do you got at five today on your show? Oh, uh, we're gonna today? have we're gonna well Cliff Godwin. Oh yeah, coach. I, yeah, the the current. All right, good. Coach, so a two guy big who's shows coaching. today. Two big shows yeah. today. Noon with Hoist the Colors on ninety four three. The game. Steve and I go with Steve Logan, and uh, at five o'clock the Patrick Johnson show. Patrick will have Coach uh, Cliff Godwin on. All right. That's our sports update and pirate report brought to you by Acre Station Meat Farm on Highway 32. They've got their big spring combo packages just in time for grilling out and family fun. This is the great time of year to get down there. You you can get the best deals of the year right now from now to May 25th. That is the final day, and they've got all sorts of packages. They've got uh, – uh, packages that include uh, 90 to 100 pounds of meat. They've got uh, smaller packages that you can get, their Spring Delight package. But, I mean, you're talking about everything, bone-in, boneless pork chops, pork loin, pork steaks, roast, Acre Station, hot or mild link sausage, pork-style ribs, bacon, ribeye steaks, lean ground beef, chicken leg quarters. Great values right now. And, by the way, coming up, they're going to start offering certified Angus beef from a company named Braveheart. They're actually going to have a food truck out there on Thursday, May 25th. I'll remind you of that, serving up a Braveheart uh, steak. So I can't wait uh, for all that. I'm probably going to run down there and taste that myself. All right, quick break, and we'll be back with the uh, laugh track. It's 7.53 here on Monday. Stay with us. Every trip to Farmville Hardware has a story. Like Thomas, he needs a new shovel for some planting his wife asked him to do. Or Janet, an office administrator that is changing out her lighting to all LEDs, saving on energy costs. Then Michael, who is picking up a couple gallons of Valspar paint to create a nursery for his new baby's arrival. Farmville Hardware enjoys being part of your stories. See how Farmville Hardware can help you. At Farmville Hardware, we're not a big box store, so come enjoy your front door parking. West Wilson Street in downtown Farmville. Bill. If you haven't been to Shaw's Barbecue in Williamston lately, you don't know what you're missing. Start the day off right with one of their sausage dogs, old-fashioned cheese biscuits, or any combination of breakfast sandwiches you can think of. For lunch or dinner, get crispy fried chicken, fresh seafood, or, of course, barbecue. You can get pulled, chopped, sliced, even G-Man chopped barbecue. What's G-Man chopped barbecue? Head to Shaw's and ask them. Shaw's Barbecue, West Boulevard in Williamston. Open daily except Sunday. Before your next fishing trip, head to Greenville Marine Outdoor Shop just outside of Greenville on Marine Drive. Greenville Marine Outdoor Shop has one of the largest inventories of rods, reels, and fishing tackle in the area, plus accessories and equipment to help make your day on the water a success. Whether you need hunting, fishing, clothing, or other supplies, make Greenville Marine Outdoor Shop your one-stop destination. Greenville Marine Outdoor Shop, open Monday through Friday till 530 and Saturday to 1230. When looking for a new mattress set, you want someone that will sell you a quality mattress without costing you a fortune. You need Mattress by Appointment in Elizabeth City. Locally owned and operated by Harry and Michelle Umflett, Mattress by Appointment carries name brand mattress sets at 50 to 80% off retail. Plus, they offer same-day delivery so you can start enjoying that new mattress right away. Call or text 252-435-7828. That's 435-7828 for Mattress by Appointment in Elizabeth City. City. Do you want to get rid of wrinkles, tighten and lift your skin, smooth your skin texture, erase veins and brown spots, get rid of unwanted hair and under eye fat pads? Where do you go if you are interested in Botox and filler or a facial that will leave your skin glowing? Beauty Bar Medi Spa is Greenville's premier facility for everything aesthetic. Feel confident knowing that non-surgical aesthetics is Beauty Bar Medi Spa's specialty, focus and passion. Passion. Their team of licensed nurses, laser technicians, medical estheticians, and nurse practitioner will provide you alternatives and solutions for amazing and natural looking results. You can trust the trained, certified, and licensed providers at Beauty Bar Medi Spa. After all, their stellar reviews speak for themselves. Beauty Bar Medi Spa also offers free consultations. Call today to schedule or visit BeautyBarMediSpa.com. 
to Talk of the Town. Best of the best of the best. On Talk 96.3 and 103.7. 7.50, coming up on 7.57, we got a laugh track in a minute. Uh, Joe Biden was the commencement speaker at Howard University in D.C. this weekend. He did the normal pandering to his audience said that white supremacy is the number one threat to democracy and such things as you would imagine him saying at uh, Howard. But he Joe also Biden. got into he got he got into some word salad. They were talking about this yesterday on uh, Fox News with uh, Tommy Lauren, my old friend Tommy Lauren. Uh, here here is Biden at Howard, and then Tommy Lauren's response on uh, Fox and Friends yesterday. A moment of extraordinary hope. But also as I stood there, and this is the God's truth, I couldn't help think about another day I stood there. It wasn't much more than your age. I just got out of law school. I was a public, I'd gone to work for a big firm. But my state, because of when Dr. King was assassinated, parts of my city parts were burned to the ground. We had a very conservative governor. He stationed the National Guard in every corner with drawn bayonets. For 10 months. What's his, what's his point there, Tommy? <laughs> I mean, it's like, where's Waldo trying to find right. his point? I was in college. I went to law school, went public. I was a public person. Uh, Martin yeah. Luther King, I'm in Delaware. And you don't know when you listen to Joe what part of it's true and what part of it's not because we know he has a history of just making up these wild delusions of I'm grandeur. I'm sure he's going to be fact corrected on CNN <laughs> yeah. shortly. Oh, I'm sure that's coming. But you can just tell. If you listen really closely, you can almost hear his staff and what I call his puppeteers every oh. time he goes off script just clenching something because they're so afraid of what he's going to say. And imagine putting this man on a debate stage with Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis. It would be a bloodbath, a nightmare. <laughs> I can't wait. I don't think they'll let him debate. I swear I don't. No, I probably would not. <laughs> but, you know, he it would be great, wouldn't it? I mean, uh, it would just be great. I would love to see him. I, honestly, I'd love to see him up against Trump or DeSantis, either one. I hope it's DeSantis, but I'd love it either way. So, you know, another one go well. This way. He, he, he was just just rambling there. Just it made no sense. And no, nothing he said made any sense at all. All right. Uh, I blew through the uh, laugh track time. We'll have to do the laugh track next hour. I didn't get a chance to. Um, I didn't do well with that. So we will not have the laugh track, but we do have a beautiful <laughs> day. With it. We're at the Carteret County Coast this morning, and I'm looking out. People are walking on the beach. It is a beautiful morning. Pine no Shores. We'll be back with another hour. Stay with us. Coming up, news next.
years, the families at Bertie County Peanuts have been growing and selling peanuts. Much has changed since 1919, but quality is still number one. So if you are looking for great North Carolina snacks and gifts, look no further than Bertie County Peanuts. Small batch, hand-cooked, and 100% guaranteed. You can't go wrong with their gourmet peanuts. Shop online at BertieCountyPeanuts.net and the shipping is now free. Or visit them at Powell and Stokes in Windsor. Bertie County Peanuts, a North Carolina tradition. No matter where you live in Eastern Carolina, all roads lead to Lee Chevrolet Buick in Washington. Find your new Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV today at Lee Chevrolet, where we treat you like family. Come see us or visit us online at LeeChevrolet.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. It's like a family atmosphere all over the place. And when I come in, I'm part of that family. And remember, all roads lead to Lee Chevrolet Buick, Highway 264 West in Washington. If you're nearing or at retirement age, you may be wondering about your next step. And you've probably heard about Cypress Glen Retirement Community in Greenville. Dr. Jen Congleton says he looked all over the region before committing to Cypress Glen. That explains why. This is the best bang for your buck. I have looked in our area and around eastern North Carolina. This by far is better than anything else. And it's just a pleasant, wonderful place to be. Cypress Glen is an active retirement community with so much to offer, which is why some residents choose to come in their 60s, including Mrs. Nancy Acock. I was a little bit reluctant to move to Cypress Glen. I thought I might be too young. It wasn't time yet. I really didn't know a lot about Cypress Glen, but I thought it was probably a prudent decision. But once I moved over here, I am crazy about it. I feel like I've moved to a new neighborhood. The people are wonderful. The staff is great. I'm satisfied with almost every aspect of being here and very happy. Dr. Congleton highlighted the wonderful atmosphere at Cypress Glen. One of the problems you get into as you get older, you're not as mobile you're not out in the community as much so there's less social interaction but here every time you walk out there's social interaction and it's pleasant it's a wonderful place to be cypress glen is situated on 95 beautiful acres in northeast greenville with a full continuum of care for residents providing safety nets of added support and additional care when needed and now cypress glen is growing again with the addition of 57 additional apartments new auditorium and under building covered parking they have all the wellness amenities that you could possibly ask for a beautiful salt water pool aerobics classes both water aerobics and and otherwise they even have boxing classes which is a lot of fun, and you would be surprised how many people attend that. Set up an appointment today. Call 252-830-2001 or visit cypressglen.org. What's all that commotion coming from your pants pocket? Oh, <laughs> my bad. It's your phone. Well, there seems to be something that's missing. Hmm? Well, we can fix that. Just download the new IBX Media app from the App Store or Google Play. Then you can listen or watch Talk of the Town live. Uh, uh, wait, we, we, we are live? Oh, Guys, guys, get get ready. <clears throat> Henry Hinton and Patrick Johnson live on Talk 96.3 and 103.7. Good morning. <laughs> What's that commotion coming from your pants pocket? Are you just happy to see me? Welcome to. That's funny. <laughs> God, that was good. <laughs> Welcome to the programs 808, actually 809, getting into this hour a little bit later. Yeah. We've got uh Well, you uh you vamped. You Tennis vamped a lot night. in the uh in the opening monologue. I, in the host I had chat segment, of the you were last hour. I, well, number one, I did I will now reveal to you that the minute I got on the air, yeah, I had opened so many different things to talk about. Joe Bitt. that my computer my computer locked up. Oh. <laughs> so I you were vamping moment. I was yes, vamping, Joe Bitten. And, and I was not doing a good job of it. Uh, coming up this hour, no, we're you were Dr. great. Look, Jeff I, Wilk, you were great. The director of the new small business center at Craven Community College in Newburn. So I'm always interested in finding out what's happening in uh, Newburn, Moorhead City, and Jacksonville, which is where I am this morning and where I'll be all day today. I'm at the, the Carteret County Studios this morning. I've got meetings today with the Big Rock people. We're getting ready for the Big Rock. Looks like we're going to be broadcasting yep. live from the Big Rock uh, community in Moorhead City and uh, around Carteret County the whole week of June 12th. 
It's coming up. Okay. Will you take a Tommy cookie Bennett. with you to that one? Cookie's going to be with me. He's going to spend the week with me at the beach. <laughs> <It's>, we'll <Okay>. see. <laughs> Uh, I'm meeting with a great Tommy Bennett this morning from the Insurance Center, who, of course, he and Curtis Strange and and uh, the board run the Big Rock. And All right. I'm going to be meeting with, uh, with with Tommy this morning. We're going to be going over some stuff and getting ready for Big Rock TV. And we're uh, excited about uh, getting some of Tommy's uh, Big Rock memories on the air. So we'll talk about that later. I got meetings later today in Jacksonville. I'll be down in Jacksonville at lunchtime. Big, busy day down at the coast today. And I got so many meetings here today that I could actually end up back here tomorrow morning. In the, I'm, uh, I'm fine Adams with that. Studios. What's yeah. wrong with that? I, I think you need to spend well, more I time. To... I wasn't look, asking your permission. I wasn't. I was just making I know. Well, you don't need my permission. I'm just saying I think it's yeah. fine. Look, look, I was telling you, see me earlier this way in, in July. I'm going to be, there'll be weeks I'll be down at the working man's beach doing the show. Huh? Huh? You heard me. You heard me. Did you clear that with the authorities? <sighs> I just did. <laughs> I just did. I was talking this morning about Susan Sarandon getting arrested because she, the, the actress, the Bull Durham, Thelma and Louise, Aliens. Yeah. Actress, right. She was protesting the fact that, that New York State is going to seventeen dollars per hour minimum wage. Seventeen dollars an hour minimum wage, except they're going to exclude waitresses because they get tips. So I found this article this morning from an, uh, a website called Best Life, and um, you know sometimes I never know whether I should tip or not. You know what I'm saying? I yes. always, you know, I don't, I don't want to be that guy because I, you know. I had a boss one time that used to say to me, Henry, you need to over tip because people know who you are. And if you under tip, they'll be talking terrible about you. And it'll, it's bad for business. It's bad for everything. But, you know, if you over tip, it won't cost you $100 a year, which I'm not sure is the case these days. But that's what no, not these days, to. not these days. But yes, I, I know what you're saying. So we heard the other day about uh, even self checkout kiosk are now asking us to tip. Yeah, but there's still there's still situations where tipping is not necessary. So let's talk about some of those. According to experts, here are five times you do not need to leave a tip. I want to hear this. You do not tip technicians, service technicians like plumbers and uh, electricians. Okay. They usually make a very good wage, and they're not expecting a tip. Well, let me let me ask you this, Big Hen. Does that include? You know, we have a. Uh exterminator that comes out quarterly does that include yeah. that because there that's a technician technically isn't it i wouldn't tip i wouldn't tip an exterminator i'm not i'm just let i'm me, just let wondering me go to the expert over here i got my boss uh my wife is sitting over do we tip the exterminator honey she's giving me the no sign <laughs> somebody text her right now i want to hear that text uh chime again i don't think you <laughs> patrick's gonna text you so he can hear your text no, don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> I just told her to cut it off. <laughs> My wife has a. I, I tell you what, let, let's do this. Give it to me, Debbie. Let's let's play this on the air and get some opinions on this. It, leave it on. Okay. Patrick, text her right now. I don't have her number. I, would, I don't have your wife's number. Oh, I thought you had her number. You want me to give it on no. the air? Yeah, give it on you. It wouldn't be the first time. It wouldn't be the first time got, you've done I that. I just got. I just got the angry wife glare. Joe Biden. All right, don't top, don't do not tip flight attendants. It's considered right, bad it form, and some airlines even have policies against it. Handing out drinks is just a small part of their job. Well, there it is. Listen, <laughs> here it is. Here, it is. listen to this obnoxious text. This is my wife's text notification. Is that obnoxious or what? That's a text. Yeah. Good grief. Shook, shook just text her. <laughs> well, there you go. I love your wife. I love my who wife. I, I do not love her text. Who I don't think is very fond of me. But I love your wife. And here's what I, not I think. fond of you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's what I say about the, that is a, that is a that is a bit much on the text, Chime. That's a bit Patrick on the text notification. Shook says it's, it's a bit cool. much. 
It's good. Right. <laughs> well, it would be for right, sure. Back to where, you, where, back to where you do not tip. Let's get off my wife's cell phone, can we? Yes, let's do, do that. Do not tip if you're traveling in certain countries. People in Australia, New Zealand, and Europe, in uh, in East Asia, they see being tipped as an insult. I'm surprised Australia feels that way because they're very uh, very Americanized down under, aren't they? Maybe not. I don't, you know, but I mean, you don't, so you don't tip a waitress in Australia. I never knew that. Anybody been to Australia? Weigh in on this and let us know. Do you not tip in Australia? It says you can't tip there. It's interesting. Uh, You do not tip at a restaurant when a gratuity is included. They automatically add 20%. Correct. You know, and and it always frustrates me because there's a line down at the bottom down there that says additional tip. Yeah, additional, as if there's a... You know, I uh-huh. think that's a scam. I think the deal there is they're trying to make you think you haven't tipped yet because most right. people don't look at the, the total, and, you know, they want you to put another 20% on there. My and wife the way, looks you at it. 15 or My 20%? I do, uh, I do a minimum of 20. 20 is my go-to, I, typically. I, tw- I tip 20%. Sometimes if it's somebody I really like. Maybe right. even more. Don't tip. You do not tip, tip highly trained professionals like nurses, lawyers, and accountants. If you want them to know you appreciate them, send them a card or give them a, yeah. give them a positive online review. That's very 2023, isn't it? A positive online review. So there are the times that you tip and what do I, not tip. All right. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait, wait one second. Yeah. This does not yeah. give us any idea on what to do on these self kiosks or or in a situation where you're getting takeout and they flip it around and they and they where you got to sign where you've paid with your card you've tapped and you got to sign and then it says tip and who are you tipping if you're doing takeout like if you're physically going into well, that, the that establishment is, that, and that is true do, do you tip on takeout we don't get takeout that much, but there's one particular restaurant. Well, see, we, we get, get a lot of takeout. Yeah, well, I get a lot of takeout, and so, so you tip on takeout or not? I do because I feel pressured into it. I succumb to the pressure. Is my phone ringing? <laughs> Whose phone is ringing? I tell you what, I'm in the studio down here. I just, you know, you hear all sorts of sounds you don't You're normally disoriented. hear. Disoriented. But I mean, am I, I wrong? Talk- Am I wrong on that? I mean, should I no, not be I tipping think, on takeout? I, I, I don't think you should tip on takeout. That's just me. All right, I'm going to quit really, doing it then. And if somebody says something to me, I'm going to say, well, you take it up with Henry Hinton is what I'm going to tell him. All right, let me see. Let's see if I'm right, wrong about this. Let's Google this. Tipping on takeout order. All right, here it is from Reddit. See, we started right. it on the pan- during the pandemic when that was the only way restaurants could survive. And, and right, I didn't mind doing says, that. I then. generally don't tip on pickup orders, but I do feel awkward about it. <laughs> yeah. So, like, uh, a few weeks ago, it was pouring rain, and we got takeout from somewhere, and the, the person brought it out to me in, in a curbside delivery. In that case, I did give them a tip because that poor person had to come out. She had to come out in the pouring rain. So I, I tipped yeah, her in that because yeah. it was it was a deluge, but I mean, I, from now on, I'm not tipping if I go in and get takeout. The hell with that. Right, I, got a, I got a text from a friend who's a restaurant owner. By law, the restaurant Uh-oh. owner has to pay out all tips received so the staff gets the tips. Now, I've been told that there's a restaurant in town that doesn't give the tips to the employees. What? I've heard that. I don't know. Well, they keeping it for themselves? Not. Keeping it for themselves? Yeah. yeah. You're going to out them? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, back to Reddit, it says, uh, this guy says, uh, tipping for a pickup, that's cray-cray. So a lot of people are saying they don't. <laughs> another, person say, <laughs> another person says, I'll tip on restaurant pickup orders, but I'll admit I gave the side eye when I stopped into a cupcake shop and it gave me the option to tip when I use my card. They literally just had to put my cupcake in a box. Sorry, but no. 
Yeah, I'm done with that. I'm done dipping on the takeout then. The hell with that. That's cr- curbside's a different story, but everybody's doing away with that now. But if there's if it's just takeout and I'm having to physically go into the establishment, I'm sorry. That's I'm done with it. So my restaurant owner friend is saying in his place the tips are distributed evenly by the amount of hours worked by each employee. Well, that's, that's great. To I mean, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. I, I want to know more about this the, restaurant that doesn't I, that doesn't give the tips out. That seems crazy I'll te- to me. I'll, I'll text you. I can't say it on the air. Yeah, I know you can't say but, it on the air. Because I'm not 100% sure, do. but I've been told that. Right. All right this guy says, Rumor no way I do not tip on takeout orders. Yeah, you don't. They put the I, food I'm convinced the now. They, don't bring me, they, they didn't bring me apps, food, drinks, refills all around for me. They just cashed me out. No way. Do not tip on, on takeout. So and you know what? That's what that guy says. They always get they, more and more. They get your order screwed up. I got to go through the neatly packed bag to make sure they haven't screwed up the order. Yeah, the, yeah. the heck with this. I'm not tipping anymore on takeout. Yeah, yeah. All right, twenty one after. We got to get a break. I in. felt like Again, a rube the, uh... when I would do it, Big Ken. I felt like a slack jaw rube that they had gotten yeah. one over on me. Exactly. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Since Shook is listening, let's do the uh, let's do the stock market update. Brought to you by the Shook Rouse Group of Truist Investment Services. If you need uh, stock market advice, Thomas Rouse, Scott Shook, our friends at Shook Rouse Group at Truist. The Dow was down eight points on uh, Friday, so it was generally unchanged. Although it was not a great week, the S and P five hundred was down six. The Nasdaq was down forty four points. Let's see what the um, futures this morning. Futures look pretty good. Dow futures are up 131 right now. S&P 16 up. And the NASDAQ futures are up 39. So there's your stock market update brought to you by Scott Shook and Thomas Rouse of the Shook Rouse Group, Truist Investment Services. Contact Scott and Thomas if you need Truist, if you need uh, investment advice needs. All right, quick break. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town. Stay with us. Finding a great location for your business can determine how successful you are. Have you considered Rocky Mount? Hi, I'm Mayor Sandy Robertson here to tell you that Rocky Mount may just be the place you're looking for. We're the gateway to Eastern North Carolina with easy access to 300,000 people in a four county region, uniquely situated where I-95 and US-64 meet. We now offer development grants to locate in our downtown. Rocky Mount is open for business and I hope it's yours. Visit sandyrobertson.com slash open for business. Pepsi Zero Sugar has a new, better flavor. A Zero Sugar Cola has never tasted this good. But we don't expect you to take our word for it, so we're putting it to the test. Starting with me. Cue the fireworks. We have an official best Zero Sugar ever. It's delicious, it's refreshing, and it's so good you'll need to try it for yourself. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Zero never tasted so good. That's what I like. Happy 100th anniversary to Minji's Bottling Group. Congratulations on 100 years of refreshing Eastern North Carolina. The best burgers around. Everyone loves a thick, juicy, and fresh burger. Tiebreakers in Greenville, plus the all new Tiebreakers in Winterville do real burgers better than anybody. So don't just go to any burger themed restaurant chain. It's time to break the chain and eat local. Tiebreakers, real burgers at its best. Everybody loves burgers. Do you believe in having access to educational opportunities that many of us didn't have as kids, but that our children should have? Access to education that our kids actually want to show up for. Access to teachers who are invested in preparing high schoolers for college. The Northeast Regional School of Biotechnology and Agriscience in Jamesville is a uniquely early college high school program that gives our children the chance to be first-generation college students. If you have a rising ninth grade in Martin, Pitt, Terrell, or Washington counties, apply at neregionalschool.org. Again, neregionalschool.org. Priority is given to students whose parents did not attend college, but any rising ninth graders are eligible. Visit neregionalschool.org today. That's neregionalschool.org, the Northeast Regional School of Biotechnology and Agriscience Early College. Rooted in leadership, ready for tomorrow. Warm 
Warm weather is finally here, and the Beaufort Hotel is waiting for you. Effective now, the Beaufort Hotel is featuring their spring getaway. Get 15% off the rate now until Memorial Day. This is one of the most beautiful times of the year to visit Beaufort, and the Beaufort Hotel has been named the number one boutique hotel in America in the USA Today poll. And of course, you'll want to check out 34 Degrees North Restaurant for locally inspired cuisine. For more information, go to BeauftHotelNC.com. Good morning. Can I take your order? Talk of the town with Henry Hinton and Patrick Johnson. Order up! On Talk 96.3 and 103.7. More on tipping. I mm. heard from a couple of uh, listeners who say they've been to Australia, and you do not tip in Australia. Okay. And then someone just said, uh, do you tip your barber? And I said, yes, I do. Yes. But I, don't, I, mean, yes. I go to Fantastic Sam's. I always uh, right. throw in about 20 stylist I go to. Yes, I leave a tip yeah. for the stylist, yes. Absolutely, I do that, sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, we got to do uh, news, but I got to get this. <laughs> we, you guys have found this uh, ad that Trump is running against DeSantis. It's an excerpt. Yes, it's an excerpt of it. Excerpt. De-sanctimonious. Here you go. This thing's getting ready to heat up. Here's what Trump says about uh, Ron DeSantis and his new ad. The problem with Ron DeSanctimonious is that he needs a personality transplant, and those are not yet available. <laughs> See the guy what on the Saturday hell? Night Live that does Trump? He, is, he does the best Trump I've ever seen. There's another guy online that does an unbelievable Trump, too, that I've seen some videos of. Just crazy. All right, let's do some news headlines. Uh, We've got an interview coming up. I'm excited about uh, having the chance to talk to Dr. Jeff Wilk, who is the director of the new small business center at Craven Community College. That's coming up in just a minute. But first, here is the P-Man with our local news update. PJ? All right, Big Hen, do appreciate it. And good morning, everyone. Uh, Our news for nine on your side. A veto from Governor Cooper is stirring mixed emotions across the state. This is concerning the abortion uh, ban, uh, or the abortion bill, I should say. This comes as the uh, governor signed a veto against that uh, bill in front of a crowd of over uh, of thousands, it says, this weekend. If Senate Bill 20 becomes law, it would ban most abortions after 12 weeks during a rally with Planned Parenthood on Saturday. The governor slammed Republican lawmakers who passed the measure. Uh, the governor's veto could be uh, overturned. Here it is. This bill has nothing to do with making women safer and everything to do with banning abortion. And again, the governor's veto could be overturned uh, in a vote, in an override vote that could happen this week. The uh, man accused of running over and killing an 11-year-old at the Raleigh Christmas Parade is expected in court for an arraignment. Landon Glass is charged with involuntary manslaughter. The 20-year-old is accused of killing Haley Brooks. During an administrative hearing last month, he was put on house arrest where he is being electronically monitored. If you're parking in Uptown Greenville today, you'll need to watch out for some new rules. Today kicks off full enforcement of the new parking plan. It comes after the warning period was extended at the beginning of the month. Starting today, you can park along with street and in lots for two hours for free as long as you're registered in the parking app through a kiosk or over the phone. After the two hours, you will be uh, paying 75 cents an hour in surface lots and $1 an hour along the street. Cities across the country will pay tribute to law enforcement officers who lost their lives or were injured while on the job. There will be ceremonies honoring peace officers in Eastern North Carolina. It is Peace Officers, officers Memorial Day, in fact. Uh, Jacksonville will hold their observance at 10 this morning, Public Safety Remembrance Garden. In New Bern, they will hold theirs at 10 in the morning at Union Point Park. Uh, To the latest now on the Great Lakes fire in the Croatan National Forest, officials say 90% contained. Last week it was only 70, started last month, and has scorched more than 32,000 acres. Those are your news headlines on this Talk of the Town Monday. It is Monday, isn't it? 15th day of may let's send it back now to the big hen henry all right let's check our uh, weather update storm team nine this morning holly baker standing by holly good morning from the storm team nine weather center your forecast for today will be mostly sunny skies winds will be from the northeast and between 
5 to 10 miles per hour. Highs today will be in the upper 70s. And tonight, you can expect partly cloudy skies with light and variable winds. Overnight lows are going to be near 60. For Tuesday, highs will be in the lower 80s. Overnight lows will be in the middle 60s with a 50% chance of rain. For the Storm 29 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Holly Baker for Talk 96.3 and 103.7. All right, thank you, Holly. Our news and weather services hour of advanced moving and storage in Greenville, locally owned and operated by my buddy, Linda Bunch, they offer exclusive shipments, which means they don't share a truck with uh, clients. Uh, guaranteed delivery dates, deliveries up to 1,200 miles from Greenville, so they can uh, deliver across the street for you and move you across the street or across the country. Choose the moving professionals at Advanced Moving and Storage. Contact them online at advancemoversnc.com. Or call uh, Linda at 252 321 3200, 252 321 3200 for advanced moving and storage. Great family, good friends, and they've moved us many times. All right. One more thing on tipping. My buddy uh, Jennifer Little, a former co worker who now lives in Costa Rica and is uh, partners in a restaurant down there, I believe. Uh, she says in Costa Rica and many other countries, 10% is added to the price of the food for tips to be split between the staff. Most people tip above that, but uh, Europeans and Canadians usually don't. Those cheap Europeans, wouldn't you know it. All right, quick break. We're coming back. We're going to meet the uh, new uh, director of the Small Business Center at Craven Community College, College Dr. Jeff Wilk. Coming up next, it's uh, 831. It can be difficult to find someone you can trust to maintain and repair your vehicle. Look online at all the great reviews for Showtime Wheels and Tires in Winterville on Mill Street. As the name suggests, Showtime specializes in wheels and tires. However, they are experts on all minor vehicle repairs along with oil changes, alignment, brakes, AC, and engine flushes. So once you've done your homework, you'll be very comfortable bringing your vehicle to Showtime Wheels and Tires just outside of downtown Winterville on Mill Street. Robinson Jewelers has been Eastern North Carolina's independent diamond jeweler since 1969. Now for the first time in 54 years, Robinson Jewelers will be having a retirement sale during the month of May. Everything in the store will be 25 to 70% off. Rings, watches, earrings, bracelets, and diamonds will be reduced during the retirement sale at Robinson Jewelers. Save on necklaces, pendants, engagement rings, and bridal sets. Shop now for the best selection at 25 to 70% off during the retirement sale at Robinson Jewelers. 633 Red Banks Road in Greenville. Doug Henry Ford in Aiden is blowing it out during the month of May. General Sales Manager Greg Dawson is offering some incredible interest rates right now, so don't listen to all the negative interest rate talk. Get 0% financing for 60 months on the Ford Edge, Explorer, Escape, Bronco Sport, and Expedition. Also get 0.9% on the F-150. Want to finance for 72 months? Doug Henry in Aiden can offer 0.9% for 72 months on the Explorer, Expedition, Bronco Sport, and Edge. Don't listen to all the negative interest rate talk. They're not having it at Doug Henry Ford in Aiden. And as the thank you to our heroes, Doug Henry Ford is launching $1,000 in appreciation exclusive cash reward for our military and first responders. Trade-in values are still the highest they've ever been. Come to Doug Henry Ford in Aiden this month and drive off in a brand new Ford of your choice. Great selection, low interest rates, the highest trade-in values, and Fords are always cheaper in Aiden at Doug Henry Ford. Have you had lunch or breakfast at Great Harvest Bread recently? If not, where have you been? Great Harvest Bread on Evans Street in Greenville is Greenville's gathering place. When you're there, you'll see your friends and neighbors, and Great Harvest features some of the best sandwiches you'll ever taste. For breakfast, it's the famous Great Harvest Bacon Cheddar Biscuits. Or have you tried their monkey bread? Delicious! For lunch, try one of the great salads or sandwiches. Meet your friends for breakfast or lunch at Great Harvest Bread. There's even a private meeting room if you or your group need a place for a get-together or Bible study. Just sign up, and it's free. The May Nonprofit of the Month is the Center for Family Violence Prevention. A portion of every Key Lime Pie Bar goes to them. And Great Harvest has great items to celebrate graduations, Mother's Day, Teacher Appreciation, and Nurse Appreciation this month. You'll see your friends and get some great tastes of spring right now at Great Harvest Bread Company, Evan Street in Greenville. It's Greenville's gathering place. I bring good news. Talk of the town with Henry Hinton and Patrick Johnson. Right here on Talk 96.3 and 103.7.
All right, welcome back to 834. One of the great uh, assets and uh, benefits for businesses in North Carolina is the fact that we have one of the best community college, maybe the best community college system in the country. And uh, a lot of our uh, community colleges have small business centers. Craven Community College has one, and we're going to talk about that right now. We've got Dr. Jeff Wilk, who is director of the Craven Community College Small Business Center on the telephone. Good morning, Dr. Wilk. How are you? Good morning, Henry. Thank you for inviting me on onto your show. Yeah, it's great to great to uh, highlight uh, what you're doing there in Newbern at uh, Craven Community College. So, uh, let's talk about what services you offer. And I know uh, you uh, people need to realize that you're there for uh, all small businesses, not just businesses that are starting up. But I I assume you have some special um, uh, help and uh, assistance for businesses that are just getting started, but uh, you you uh, you want other businesses to contact you also for input. Yes. Yeah, yes, that's correct, Henry. Uh, we, we just don't only serve uh, aspiring entrepreneurs that are needing help with starting their business, but we do work with existing small business owners that, that need help with issues that come up or helping to grow their business and so forth. So that, those are the two main segments we serve, uh, people that are looking to start their business and also, also existing business owners uh, in the area that need help. So give us some examples of, of what you do. Um, you know, as a, as a small business person myself, I remember starting up and, you know, the kind of things I needed help with were uh, understanding regulations and understanding uh, book work. Right. And, Get, getting my financial stuff set up. and that, Is that the kind of stuff you do? Yeah, exactly. Uh, the two main services that we have out here is uh, educational events, seminars, and workshops. Uh, and we, we hold those pretty much on a weekly basis. So there's always something uh, available for the entrepreneur or existing business owner. And they're really easy to register for, and all our services are free. So they could simply go to our website, see what uh, educational events that we have for that week or upcoming month, and and, and register. You know, for for example, uh, this month we have a class of introduction to video marketing, and we have an introduction to QuickBooks this week. And then next oh, week we're doing one. a hiring. <laughs> go ahead. I need What's the that, QuickBooks sir? one. <laughs> I need uh, the QuickBooks yeah. uh, I, I mean, that's a very popular one because, I'll bet. Um, I mean, you don't have to be a CPA to run a business, but you should have a very good understanding of the money coming in and coming out of, out of the business and also how to use one of the most popular uh, software programs uh, for accounting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how businesses ran without QuickBooks before. I know there are a couple of other. Yeah, uh, I know, right? <laughs> knock knockoffs of that, but I'll tell you, QuickBooks is amazing. I mean, you know, you can. Uh, I love just playing with that stuff, uh, and it'll it'll do it'll do a lot of things that uh, that you don't even realize until you delve down into the program. So, uh, I, I think it's great that you're offering that. Uh, all business people need to know how to do that. Yeah, and in the in in the classes. Give the uh, the business owner uh, a hands-on learning experience, which which is a, a great help in understanding uh, the accounting. All right, so and, and um, yeah, go ahead. The other big the other big service we provide is one-on-one uh, -on -one counseling, and that's free as well. And you know, including myself and my other counselors, we have broad experience over multiple industries, both corporate and small business ownership. And, and we, we lend that knowledge and experience to, to, to our clients and help them you know, through it, the process. It, uh, that, that's great. And the idea that all this is free is fantastic. People should take advantage of it for sure. I know. We're, we're, we're state funded. We're an awesome re resource out here in North Carolina. And uh, we do we do a lot of special things. We we uh, help teach a boots the business class out at Cherry Point for the military that are transitioning uh, to maybe small business ownership. 
mm-hmm. I have a very good software, uh, a cloud-based software solution for people that need a business plan that enables them to work on their plan at their leisure, and then our uh, our uh, counselors could go in and review the plan at any time and help the client through the awesome. process. So that's a big right, so learning do, experience how, as well. How do people learn more about what you're offering at the uh, Craven Community College Small Business Center? Is there a website, a phone number? How would you like people to contact you? Yes, at, at cravencc.edu forward slash SBC. Our phone number is 252-638-1166. Hey, it's great to hear from you. Thank you for uh, being on with us and highlighting what you're doing there. And uh, congratulations on the great work. And I hope people will contact you and get help for their small businesses. Thank you very much, Henry. You have a great day. Dr. Jeff Wilk, the uh, director of the Craven Community College Small Business Center. All right, quick commercial break. We're back with a pirate report and sports update and our laugh track still coming up. Stay with us. Pitt County Canine Academy offers the best grooming in town. And now they come to you with their brand new mobile dog grooming service. Their highly trained grooming staff will make your dog look great and make it so convenient. Go to PittCountyK9Academy.com to get all the details on this new mobile grooming service. Pitt County K9 Academy also offers a full range of dog training, doggy daycare, and boarding services for your furry family members. They will always treat them as a member of their own family. Owner making more is a law enforcement officer so safety is their number one priority as well as fun for your dogs with someone at the boarding center on site 24 hours a day and daily report cards sent to you to keep you informed on your pups for grooming visit the new salon at 111a west fire tower road for boarding training and doggy daycare visit us off frog level road near the red oak fire department for more information visit them online at pitcountyk9academy.com and like them on facebook to see what they're all about. Need a mortgage for a new home or investment property? There's a lender you may not have thought to check. Telco Credit Union in Greenville and Tarboro has great rates and top-level service for you on home loans, refinancing loans, home equity, home improvement, or debt consolidation loans. Telco will even give you a great rate on your auto loan. Call Telco Credit Union of Tarboro and Greenville at 800-682-8688 or online at TELCU.com. Telco Credit Union, member NCUA and equal housing lender. Artisans is your one-stop shopping destination. With over 75 exquisite shops, you can find something for everyone on your shopping list. Artisans features gifts, home decor, fashion accessories, local artists, specialty foods, and the list goes on. Plus, they offer a fabulous gift wrapping section and gift basket service. Love to buy local and shop from home? Join Susan and friends for a live Facebook sale every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Artisans, conveniently located off Evans Street, in Greenville. Live life to the fullest. You hear that all the time, right? But it's easier said than done when you're in pain. Hey, it's Henry Hinton again. QC Kinetics is in the business of giving people back their quality of life and providing much needed relief for chronic joint pain. And not just providing that relief, but doing it in the most non-invasive way possible using regenerative treatments from your body's own natural biologics. Where's your joint pain? Is it in your knees, your hips, your shoulders, or back? QC Kinetics concentrates these impactful treatments right at the source of your pain, directly applying healing properties where you need them the most. And best of all, you walk into the office, walk right out after the treatment, no surgery, no downtime, and patients are raving about results. So what does living life to the fullest look like for you? Finally being able to play golf, hike, walk your dog, enjoy time with the family? Whatever it is, don't wait another day. Get started Call QC Kinetics at 252-765-PAIN. 252-765-PAIN. If you don't want to feel uh, the way you look in your driver's license picture, well, then you're in the right place. Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton and Patrick Johnson. Every morning. Every morning. On Talk 96.3 and 103.7. We have sports coming up. Just looking at this list, the Social Security Administration has just revealed uh, the most popular names, baby names from last year. You want to hear the top ten? Here's what people named their children last year. The number one name for boys was Liam. 
Isn't that interesting? I, you know, nobody was named Liam when I was growing up, but I mean, I know some of my grandchildren's uh, friends have been named Liam because I remember my grandson used to not be able to pronounce it, and I would say, who's your buddy? And he would say, William. I thought he was saying William, but he was saying Liam. Uh, number two was Noah. Number three was Oliver. Number four was James. Number five, Elijah. William Henry comes in at number seven. Hey, now. Lucas, Benjamin, and Theodore. Theodore is in the top ten. <laughs> People are naming their kids Theodore. Um, the number one name for girls was Olivia. And then Emma, Charlotte, Amelia, Sophia, Isabella, Ava, Mia, Evelyn, and Luna. These were the top ten names last year. By the way, Luna is the only new name on the list. It's uh, Latin for moon. Americans are very into Luna right now. A uh, fun fact here, according to the American Kennel Club, it was also the top name for female dogs last year. So if you've got a female dog, name her Luna. There you go. All right. You've got a dog, don't you, P-Man? No, we, uh, we What's don't. your dog? That's, uh, yeah. that's a source. Uh, what was your dog's name? Dash. Dash. How'd you come up with that yeah. name? It's Dash Jill. Rip Rock. Jill. It was all Jill. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's she's uh, Jad Dash was her baby. Yep. Sad to lose your dog. Uh, seven uh, eight forty two. Um, wait a minute, is that right? Eight forty seven. What am I saying here? Time for sports. Brought to you by East Carolina Tractor and Fleet, your local Coyote dealer, which is located across the Pitt County Fairgrounds. Stop by now for great deals and zero percent financing. Still available on select models. See their complete line at the dealership or visit ectfleet.com. ectfleet.com for East Carolina Tractor and Fleet. All right. Uh, we were hoping uh, after the Pirates sweep this weekend that Houston would lose a game, but they swept Tulane also, so we're still in second yeah. place. Yep. With just a half game back. Here's Patrick with uh, big news about the Pirates this week. Big game tomorrow night and a lot more. P-Man. An explosion of early offense, more than enough for number 14 ECU. They held off Memphis 11-7 on Sunday, swept the Tigers at uh, Clark LeClaire Stadium. Pirates have won seven straight overall and in league play, finishing the home AAC season with an 11-1 record. ECU has swept eight weekend series this year and have won 11 of the 13 series that they've played on the weekends. On Saturday, the Pirates honored their three seniors, Carter Spivey, Garrett Saylor, and Lane Hoover. Here's what Coach Godwin had to say about those three. They represent everything that I've ever wanted as a coach, and they've all been through some sort of adversity and had to come through it on the other side. Uh, they've all graduated. Spivey's got his master's in business administration, so they said he's working on it. Now he's done. So he you know, got a degree and a master's in five years, and – uh, Sailor and Hoover, they're just tremendous human beings and also great baseball players. Pirates remain a half game behind Houston in the American standings. And uh, looking at the uh, RPI this morning on uh, warrennolan.com, uh, Pirates 19 in the RBI. Campbell, who's the opponent tomorrow, 22nd in the RPI. Uh, Top-ranked uh, Demon Deacons failed to complete a three-game sweep of Florida State on the road. Wake Forest was walked off by the Knolls. 4-3 Sunday in Tallahassee in Chapel Hill. The Tar Heels swept NC State over the weekend. 10th-ranked Duke lost to Georgia Tech 8-5 Sunday, and uh, the Ramblin' Wreck take two out of three in Durham. ECU golf alum Harold Varner the third gearing up for the U.S. Open this week. HV3 earned a million dollars by finishing fourth at the Live Golf event in Tulsa this weekend. Varner in this week's 155-man field for the second major of the season. He played in the Masters. Again this year, 105th PGA Championship gets underway from Oak Hill on Thursday. Uh, the Hurricanes gearing up, my Carolina Hurricanes, gearing up for the Eastern Conference Finals. Carolina is set to host the Florida Panthers this week for games one and two of the series. The Canes are coming off a 4-1 series win over New Jersey, while the Panthers are coming off a 4-1 series win over Toronto. Sebastian Ajo 
leading the team with five goals and 10 points in the postseason. Canes looking to get their first berth into the Stanley Cup final since the 05 06 season. Big Hand, those are your uh, sports headlines. Sports! And your pirate report. We now send it back to you. Uh, programming note today at noon on 94 3, the game on our Hoist the Colors program, Steve and I go will have the GOAT, Steve Logan. Steve Logan on today with uh, with uh, I go at um, at noon noon to one on ninety four three the game you can pick it up on our IBX Media app you can watch it online at ninety four three the game on Facebook and of course uh, the P man will be back at five o'clock this afternoon and you've got Coach Godwin right sure do Cliff Godwin will be with us uh, today talking the weekend uh, sweep and what the last uh, week of the regular season will look like for the Pirates. So Campbell, which has now fallen in the um, RPIs below ECU, yep. they're in the uh, low low 20s. East Carolina's RPI is now 18. The top 16 teams will host in the NCAAs, which you've right. got tomorrow night, and you've got uh, three games coming up this weekend on the road at – where are we this weekend? We'll be uh, in Tampa to play South Florida Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Florida. Yeah. And then stay over and just go down to Clearwater, yeah, for the tournament. So the uh, you know the the the, que- the the question about whether or not ECU will host the first round of the NCAA's or not will be determined this week. So get yep. out there tomorrow night and uh, cheer for your Pirates. Uh, I, you sent me these gas prices from Gas Buddy this morning. I hadn't talked about that yet. I noticed gas prices are down in Greenville. Isn't it interesting that? Greenville is now the cheapest gas in eastern North Carolina. You used to have to go to Tarboro, Washington, right, right, or somewhere like that. But now, because you got all these new convenience stores coming in, you got yes. Royal Farms getting ready to open. You got the sheets all all over town now. And uh, and by the way, the new Wawa, the first Wawa in North Carolina, is getting ready to open on the Outer Banks. Okay, and there's still there's still discussion about a Wawa coming to Greenville. So if you get Wawas and you get Royal Farms, we're getting ready to have two Royal Farms open in Greenville. It's going to keep the gas prices lower in Greenville, I think. There's more competition, right? I don't know if you've done this or, or not yet, but have you tried the Royal Farms chicken? <laughs> no, I haven't, but I intend to. <laughs> So the average gas price in North Carolina last week was three dollars and twenty four cents. The cheapest was two ninety two. The most expensive was three ninety seven. So the national average price of gas has risen 0.4 cents per gallon the last week. The national average now is three point fifty uh, three dollars and fifty one cents. That's down fourteen point nine cents per gallon from a month ago. And ninety-five cents per gallon from a year ago. Hmm. But again, North Carolina is still with one of the highest gas taxes in the uh, right. southeast. I don't know. I don't, and I don't see the legislature talking about that. They're not talking about that at all. They talk about lowering the income tax, but I don't ever see them talking about the gas tax. Doing something about that gas tax. No, nope. and that's never frustrating see to. No, I guess you, you got to have one or the other, but it is what it is. Uh, let me mention again that we're going to be in Edenton a week from Friday. We're excited about our trip to Edenton, our, our friends in Edenton. We're going to be at the, uh, the the great new spot right on the uh, sound, on the Albemarle Sound there called the Herringbone Restaurant. If you haven't been, it's really one of the best restaurants in North Carolina now, in Edenton, North Carolina. And I love that. It's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful facility. The food's great. They do a great job there. We're going to be there Friday week, May 26th, thanks to our sponsors, Albemarle Boats, Cresswell Furniture, Noble Brothers Cabinets and Millwork, The Wash House, ECU Health Chowan Hospital, Mattress by Appointment, Elizabeth City, Old, Old Colony Smokehouse, Vaughn's Jewelry and Fine Gifts, Weatherly Insurance, and... Uh, High and Crow Attorneys, my man Hack High up there, who's running for mayor and has done a lot of uh, great work for me in recent uh, weeks on my mom's estate. So uh, High's become a friend. He does a great job. 
That's coming up. And, of course, our first concert on the com- – our second concert on the Common is coming. Uh, the night before that, we're going to have the Band of Oz in Greenville on Thursday, May 25th at 5 p.m. So make sure you're there for that to see the Band of Oz. We're excited about having them. All right, let's do the laugh track. We didn't get this in last hour. And um, – This is a funny guy. The comedian this morning is Will Spank Horton. Here's the laugh track. How many of y'all was educated in the public school system? Round of applause. You ever tried to cheat off somebody else's paper, though, but they won't let you cheat off their paper? You'll be balled up in the corner. You'll be smacking them in the back of the head. Open up and let me see number eight, man. Cheated my behind off, man. But I ain't just start there. Start elementary school. I enjoyed elementary school. I don't know about y'all. I had fun. You know, I did. I did. Only reason why, because it was this one subject that I love. Reading time. Whew! That was the bomb. Want to know why? Because it was always somebody in your class that couldn't read. <laughs> and you couldn't wait for their call on help. Because you don't want to be the mm-hmm. dumb one for the day. You remember? But they mm-hmm. call on Tyrone for that first paragraph. He starts stuttering on the first word. Ta-ta, ta-ta. Teacher always try to help him out. Sound it out, Tyrone. Sound it out. Tyrone mess it up even more. To ta to he, to he. You be in the back like, the Tyrone? The? No, he said to he. Oh, you dumb as hell, Tyrone. How you get to he out of the Tyrone? <laughs> All right, that's the first time we've had uh, him. Might be the last. I don't know. Spank. <laughs> Well, I was Spank, all right. Spank it was Horton. okay. Yeah, that was good. It was funny. All right, 80 degrees the high today. Got partly to mostly cloudy and uh, overnight low tonight, 61. Uh, I'm going to be working down here at the coast today, but I'll be back tomorrow either here or in the Greenville studio. I think there's a pretty good chance I'll be back here in the uh, Cardinal yeah. studio tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be 84, by the way. All right, everybody, have a great Monday. See you tomorrow. For over 116 years, Farmville Furniture and Gifts has been the place where quality and service meet affordability. Would like to personally invite you to explore the possibilities of transforming your home with a few select pieces from Farmville Furniture Company. Due to our long-standing relationships with our vendors, we have been able to maintain a great inventory with immediate delivery and shorter delivery times on many special orders, which means you will be able to enjoy your purchases sooner. Come visit us. It's worth the drive. Farmville Furniture, Farmville, North Carolina. No matter where you live in Eastern Carolina, all roads lead to Lee Chevrolet Buick in Washington. Find your new Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV today at Lee Chevrolet, where we treat you like family. Come see us or visit us online at LeeChevrolet.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. It's like a family atmosphere all over the place. And when I come in, I'm part of that family. And remember, all roads lead to Lee Chevrolet Buick, Highway 264 West in Washington. Other restaurants claim their food is fresh and fast, but are they friendly? At Moore's, you're treated like family the minute you walk into their doors. With locations in Winterville, New Bern, Swansboro, Moorhead City, and Jacksonville, we've been practicing what we preach since 1945. At Moore's, our barbecue is slow-cooked and smoked over real wood daily until it's so tender it's falling off the bone. Combined with our fresh chicken, cooked-to-order seafood, and homemade fixins, we're sure you'll agree. If it's not Moore's, it's less. Let's face it, sometimes local is better. Locally grown, locally sourced, shop local, eat local. But what about local expertise? At Derek Perry Allstate Agency, you get just that, local. So contact me, Amber Real, or llámame a mi, Cindy Covarrubias, so we can help you with the protection that is right for you and the things you love most. Llámanos a la oficina de Derek Perry Allstate al 252-758-8886. Call the Derek Perry Allstate Agency today at 252-758-8886. ¿Estás en buenas manos? Are you in good hands? Spring is here, the grass is starting to grow, and you need to mow. Right now, with 0% for 42 months, retail financing on new Hustler Zero Turn Mowers. That's right, qualified buyers can enjoy 0% for 42 months on qualifying Hustler Zero Turn Mowers. Come into Ron Ayers Motorsports today and get that Hustler Turf Zero Turn lawnmower you've been dreaming of. That's Ron Ayers Motorsports, north of the airport on Memorial Drive in Greenville, and ronairs.com. 
Have an existing shed that needs to be relocated? Then you need Carolina Sheds and Transport. Whether it's across the yard or to another town, Carolina Sheds and Transport specializes in moving your shed and getting it properly set and leveled in its new location. Plus, Carolina Shed and Transport has carport, metal structures, and new and used sheds with the largest used selection in the area. Go by their location, 3751 US 264 in Greenville, or find them on Facebook, Carolina Sheds and Transport. 1037 WTIB, Williams.